In today's video, I am vlogging. People, you know, healing, and I see people that look really down too. And um, the cancer center can kind of bring you down sometimes. Hi guys, I'm Marina Blackford. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my subscribers. I love seeing you guys here commenting, liking, sharing. So thank you. Um, let's take you along for a ride. Good morning guys. It is 6.30ish and it's a miracle. My son's in bed still. He wakes up at 6.30. Capri's been up since before six. So I took a quick shower put on a little bit of makeup, um, and we're getting this day going. Open. Open? Cut. It makes it loud. All right, house is in full well, effect this morning. Um, I'm trying to do laundry. Capri's kind of whiny from teething. No, Hello. No, no, no. And I just bought this new thing from Costco. I have never used one of these percussion. What is this, like a massager gun? What do you think of this, dude? Good. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you missed me last week, it's because I took a little break on vacation. Uh, my husband and I went to Grand Cayman and had an awesome time. If you missed that, you can check out my Instagram and see some pictures of some really beautiful beaches. And I'm going to get this family fed and going. Everybody loves the new deep tissue massager. <laughs> if anybody's interested in what I bought, that is the Sharper Image Power Percussion Deep Tissue Massager, and it comes with six attachments, and this was on sale at Costco for $20 off, making it $59.99, and I thought that was an awesome deal because I've seen these for much more. So I made an egg and toast this morning and we need some fruit. Um, butter I use, well, let's start this. Toast is organic bread by Dave's Killer White Bread. Butter is grass-fed, mostly butter, it's Kerrygold. And my eggs are pasture-raised, so I'm very picky about the quality of ingredients in what I'm eating, and then making sure Roy's getting some fruit um, or veggies with meals. And um, egg debate, I call this over easy. My husband calls it a fried egg. What do you call it? <laughs> Smiling. <laughs> Look who joined me for breakfast. Capri. Let's get ready for school. Cars, get out. You going, girl? Go, Capri, go. Can you sing your ABCs? You know this song? Twinkle Wonder what you are. Nice. Hey guys, so you've just witnessed a morning with the fam. I like to show you some of the family because I feel like it, it gives you a picture of my life, which is beautiful and a little crazy and just normal. I mean, I have toddlers that are running around, kind of whiny, kind of messy, but so darn cute. And an awesome husband that helps. He is going to work a little later today, so he is with Capri now. Now I am driving to my oncology appointment. So I ended chemo a year ago. I ended radiation last summer, which was, um, almost a year ago I mean it was like nine months ago and then a hysterectomy about like seven months ago so now I am a BRCA1 um, breast cancer survivor two times and they want to see me every three months since I've had breast cancer twice so we did a scan um, three months ago so that they have a new scan after surgery radiation chemo and that all looked good so I have been clear of disease of evidence of disease I am on no medication because it was a triple negative breast cancer and there was no cancer found after surgery and chemo. So there's no reason to put me on any medications after and that is great news for me. I'm very happy about that. Um, what are things that I need to be aware of? I need to be aware of my body, how I feel, 
physically and if I ever notice pain or if I ever notice lumps, I need to get back here immediately, which is what I did when I found cancer the second time. You can follow my emotional diagnosis video on my channel. Um, so some of you ask questions about that. Um, I also share my mom's story. She is just finishing her third breast cancer journey. She's also BRCA1 positive also had everything removed like myself and had a reoccurrence. She is on two medications and her medications are a hormone inhibitor and a parib inhibitor. Um, one has to do with the fact that she had a positive hormone receptor this last cancer so they want to suppress any hormones and the other one has to do with the fact that she was BRCA1 positive and has had three occurrences and is in her late 60s. So um, that's unique to her and everybody is unique in this journey because there is different types of breast cancers so today was just good I mean they asked how I'm feeling I'm feeling good and there's no reason to do scans we'll do a yearly MRI at this point so I can expect to have one done uh, next year and I just come back here in three months and just touch base with them I'll probably do it for a couple years and then they'll move me out further probably to six months after that so that's where I'm at uh, just thank you guys for being here. I love updating you all on how I'm doing, what I'm doing, and answering your questions. I'm committing to two live videos a month, and I get to be in person with you like a community and have you guys ask questions. So look for that soon on my community posts. I just want to give you guys hope. There is hope. There's life after cancer. There's hair after cancer. Um, there's life during cancer too, guys. There really is. Your focus though during cancer needs to be a lot on yourself. So if you have been somebody that's always taking care of others, now is the time that you need to take care of yourself. You need to be eating well, resting, and um, you know, just really doing all the self-care things we should be doing anyways, journaling, meditating, going for walks, you know. It's never been more important than when you have cancer. So I hope that you are taking care of yourself because that is your job right now when you are on this journey. Take care of yourself now and after and just be in the moment as much as possible. Your mind will wander and it will take you down these dark roads and you have to stop yourself and bring yourself back to where am I right now? What's the next thing? What can I do to make myself feel better? I'm a firm believer in that. Um, going to these cancer centers, it's good and bad. I see people, you know, healing and I see people that look really down too. And um, the cancer center can kind of bring you down sometimes. So just remember that, you know, like, you know, people don't feel well because of these medications. But remember when you get out of that cancer center that you don't have to keep carrying that feeling with you the whole time. You do not. I mean, you could take a positive feeling in. I feel like that's what I do when I'm here. People are like, nurses want to talk to me and I want to talk to them. I want to hear about their kids and their life. If you can state one thing you're grateful for that day, it can really spin things around. That's my advice to you today and I'm happy to share an update. I'm just going to wish you all well. Have a great day. See you in the next video. You Bye guys. YouTube. You. Say you. How about this? Say I love you.